kitchen, Bhansagar. Want to know how to design your kitchen? Then watch this video. Hello and Namaste. This is me Sandeepa Tama. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new to our channel, then you are at the right place and at the right time because we talk about interior design, tips and everything related to interior designing. And today's our topic is how you can design your kitchen. Kitchen, Panchakota. Kitchen is the central hub for cooking, food preparation, washing dishes or storage. Mainly there are two types of kitchen and they are residential kitchen and commercial kitchen. Uh, and we mainly reside in our home, that's why we see a lot of residential kitchen. And residential kitchen has many styles, but today we are going to talk about modern residential kitchen. Now let's go to the tips for designing your kitchen. Number one, space. So it is not necessary that you should be having your kitchen under the four walls and you should always be considering on which floor the kitchen is going to be in because we can have it on ground floor or top floor or wherever in the necessary space or the space where we can easily go and do our stuffs in the kitchen area so if you have seen my previous video you must have also known that i talk about a lot of time about what is a public space and which area might be the public or the private space in our home so kitchen is also considered to be the public space where all of us gather there or all of us go for the for the food preparation together or the stuff that we do in our kitchen so it is considered to be the public space it should be feasible from every point of view and by everyone from the family member so that was about space now number two we have flooring and on flooring we can use either tiles or marble on the flooring so as for the cleaning purposes and also if they are anti scratch proof or they are anti slippery that's why we can anytime use tiles or marble on the floor and also in some colder areas you can find using natural wooden planks or parquet on the floor of our kitchen so this is it about flooring now we have number three it's wall so in wall you can use either normal interior paint or enamel paint so as to prevent our walls from stickiness of the stuffs like oil that we usually uh, or mostly use in our kitchen and we also use tiles on the cleaning or sink area and uh, cooking area as well normally we can use uh, light colors uh, not that flashy but then very minimalist light colors on the walls and the wallpapers are not used over here number four it's countertop so on countertop you can anytime see either marble or granite on the surface or in some cases you can also see the wooden planks uh, which are used on as a countertop marble or granites are used so as for the easier cleaning purposes also they absorb the heat and uh, they do not crack very easily that's why marble and granite are used number five it's cabinet so we are going to have a lot of stuffs in our kitchen so for that we obviously need storage and for that we have upper head cabinet lower head cabinet and full height cabinet uh, in lower head cabinet you can have a lot of baskets even in upper head cabinet you can have but we can we frequently use a lower height cabinet uh, baskets like bottle pull out thali basket cup and saucer basket cutlery basket so you can have all the storage in your lower height cabinet upper height cabinet and Full height cabinet on number six we have working triangle and this is the most important factor that determines your working space or workflow of your kitchen so what is an working triangle working triangle is uh, this distance or the sum between your chimney your uh, sink and your fridge so the sum between these all factors should not be 
less than 13 feet or more than 26 feet whereas each factor should be between 4 to 9 feet uh, the working triangle is the combination or the sum of your cooking space your storage and your washing space number seven it's Bastu Sastra uh, I already spoke to you three main important uh, factors that determines your working triangle and even in our Vastu Sastra those three main important terms also determines where we should be placing all of it. Uh, your chimney, your gas stove should always be on the east uh, side or mainly on the southern east side because that is the ugly corner where hot things are placed and uh, whereas your sink or your uh, sink should always be on the northern east side because it is the uh, gel corner or water corner and it is the cold area and whereas your uh, fridge should always be on either south, north, west or southwest areas. So these are all the tips that you should consider while designing your kitchen and I'm going to give you some bonus tips as well. So first it's uh, electronic devices as electronic devices always tends to make our workflow easier and even in kitchen we have chimneys, we have cooking hub, we have oven, microwave, water purifier and uh, stuff like that. So electronic devices are also important while designing your kitchen. The placement of the electronic devices are important uh, when designing your kitchen. And on the second part it's sink. Sink. Sink is basically to be considered after how many people there are in your family after knowing how many people are there in your family if you have uh, family members of 10 people then you should go for uh, two bowl sink with a bigger larger plate or you should go for either two bowl sinks only and if you have a family of four members then why not you go for one bowl sink with a plate a drain plate so you should al always consider how many members are there and then look for the sink design. These are all the fundamental tips that you should consider while designing your kitchen. So let me repeat to you once again. First, it's space. Second, it's flooring. Third, wall. Fourth, countertop. Fifth, cabinet. Sixth, working triangle. Seventh, Vasu Sastra. Uh, and additional uh, tips were one, electronic devices and second, sink. Lastly, we would like to share with you our previous video that we did on a small kitchen excluding the electronics. Make sure to check it and also make sure to check out our other videos which we have done on the interior designing of other rooms. If you have any suggestion, please let us know in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. This is me Sandeepa Taman signing out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!